Hello humans, my name is KU Overload and this is a very quick update video to my previous video about the newly released 1.2.2 text to video and image to video models. If you haven't seen it yet, the link for it will be in the description down below. But if you remember correctly, in that previous video, I basically said that although we already had the special speed up text to video and text to image LORAS that allows you to generate a video or generate an image in only four steps, when it came to image to video and Unfortunately, those LoRa's were not available yet. Well, guess what? They are here. That's right. The image to video 4 steps LoRa is finally here, which allows you to generate a video from an image in only 4 steps. And it is really super easy to use. Just select your models, input the first high speed image to video LoRa, and then the second high speed low 4 step LoRa, write your prompt, upload your image, then you can leave a everything by default and then click run. And after a few minutes you get something like this. An absolutely amazing video done in only 4 steps. I mean this is just, this is incredible. I mean 1.2.2 really is just an incredible model. It's amazing. Oh and of course the same LoRa can also be used for frame to frame generation. So if you have a start of a frame and then the end frame, you can use the same LoRa to generate a video in between all of those frames. And I mean, once again, this is just amazing. Four steps to generate an entire video is really incredible. Oh, and also when I said that they released the new image to video LoRa models, actually they also released an updated text to video speed up LoRa's called um, version 1.1 and trying them out for image and video generation definitely gives absolutely amazing results. And the difference between the 1.0 and 1.1 is pretty huge. Like for example, this image was generated with the older 1.0 LoRa, whereas this one was generated with the new 1.1, with the same exact seed, same parameters, same everything. So yeah, in only four steps, the quality is much, much better. Now, when it comes to text to video, you can also use those same LoRa's. However, as I said in my previous video, for text to video, I actually highly recommend not using any LoRa's for the high noise model. Because if you do, you're gonna have less movement than if you didn't use a LoRa. So like, for example, this video was made with the new 1.1 LoRa, which, you know, it, it works in only four steps. However, this video was generated without LoRa's for the high noise model. And as you can see, just like in the previous video, we get way more movement, we get more precise details in the video and also made with the same amount of steps. So, so yeah, if you want to use the text to video, I highly recommend in the workflow, actually disabling any LoRa's right here and just use the new lighting text to video 1.1 low FP16 LoRa. Simple as that. Oh, and also by the time that you see this video, the entire workflow and installers will already be updated on my Patreon, so you can just download them and use inside Comfy UI. And if you need to download the newest LoRa's, you can just use the models node installer.bat file inside the Comfy UI folder and just run it from there so that it automatically installs all the nodes and missing files that you need to run this new workflow. Simple as that. So yeah, there you go. This has been a very quick update just to tell you that we have the new LoRa's available that you can use right now inside of my workflow. And if you haven't watched my previous video on the subject, the link for the video will be in the description down below. So yeah, there you go. Definitely try this out yourself and have some fun.